If you're new to writing software, no doubt your first programming language was an object-oriented one like Python or JavaScript or even C++. But fun fact, many of those same features can be mimicked in C through the creative use of macros and by following a few design paradigms. In this series, I'll take you through some of the most useful C++ object-oriented features and show you how you can accomplish much the same thing in standard C. One of the more interesting features of C++ is function overloading, where you can define different versions of a function using different parameter types, but give them all the same name. In computing, a function is just a label for a location in the code with a block of instructions for the processor to execute before returning to the calling location. As such, all functions must have a unique name that points to a unique location in the compiled code, also known as the text section of the program. These are the functions and there's locations in the program from the previous video about using function pointers to speed up your switch statements. As you can see, each unique function name has a unique address within the code. So how is overloading accomplished? Through the use of a name mangler, where the function names are decorated with additional characters to indicate their function type, parameter counts, and parameter types, thus creating a unique name for each version of the overloaded function. If you're interested in the details of the name mangling standard, the link is in the video description below. But you can also just dump the symbol names using the nm utility with dash c to demangle the names and compare them to their mangled versions. For years, libraries such as the widely used OpenGL API would pre-mangle their function names to obtain something similar to overloading. This was accomplished by following a function naming standard consisting of the GL prefix, function name, number of parameters, and their type. This was done to support both 2D and 3D drawing modes, as well as deal with different ways of specifying colors. To draw a 3D cube in OpenGL, one would first call GL begin with the GL quads parameter, and then call GL color to set the current drawing color, GL vertex for each point along the perimeter of each face of the cube, and then GL end to finish up drawing the cube. In this version of the draw cube function, we're using integers for the vertex data and unsigned bytes for the color values, 0 to 255, for red, green, and blue, and also intermixing the color changes with the vertexes. In this other version of the draw cube function, we're using arrays of floats for both vertex and color data while setting the color once for each face of the cube. And instead of passing each value individually, we're passing a pointer to an array of those values. This simple OpenGL example framework uses the number keys to zoom in and out, control rotation speed in the X, Y, and Z axis, or a combination of axes, and then switch between the two ways of drawing the cube. Getting back to overloading in C, starting with the C11 standard, we can define a macro as generic and use the type of the data passed to the macro to decide which version of a pre-mangled function to call, or in this case, which version of printf to call. For each data type supported, we call printf using the appropriate data format characters, as well as having a default to handle unsupported types. As a bonus, the hashtag symbol stringifies the variable name to display along with its value, which can be very useful in debugging code when you don't have an IDE or debugger. So now we just call the macro and it will select the type specific version to include in the code. Well, that's it for overloading in C. You can simply pre-mangle your function names or use the underscore generic keyword to create a macro to access all of them from one place. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications for our next time where we go into the modular C programming standard and how to accomplish more. Again, thanks for watching.